It's an alien arch. That's the teleport. Oh! To me. Whoa. That was creepy. Okay. everybody welcome to part 18 of let's play subnautica if you remember last time we went into the inactive lava zone and uh, we found the alien thermal plant and we also got the uh, drill arm for uh, the prawn suit so now what we are going to do is focus on getting the prawn suit jump jet upgrade. So, we need two nickel ore, five titanium, and lithium. I know we have at least some of that. Let's see. Yeah, we got two nickel. Um, looks like we don't have lithium. Oh! We also need purple tablets. So let's see. Um, where are the purple tablets? Here we go. Ion cube and two diamonds. Yeah, we need those for the uh, thermal plant. So it looks like we are on a searching journey again. Welcome aboard Pearl Systems Online. So let's go back over to Life Pod 12. I know last time we were here and uh, we dropped at least some lithium. So let's see if we can. Oh, what's that roll in there? That's lithium. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, we got lithium. Nice. What's in here? Diamond! Cool. Now we just need one more. Well, actually, three more. Since we're building two purple tablets. That's gold. Not picking up. Gold. Diamond. Okay, two left. I don't know if we'll find the two here. Probably not. I'll pick up one more lithium just in case. How much inventory space? Okay, we got five. I think that's five. Yeah, five spaces left. See, greatly decreased. That's lithium. 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 Gold. Come on, give me some diamonds. There we go. Okay, one more to find. 
There we go. Awesome. Okay. Let's head back. We'll need to pick up some water while we're out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, nice. And then let's go back and quickly make the water. And we'll just keep that. Let's see. Okay. Um. So. Now. Let's see. Okay. We need the ion cube. Uh. Here. We'll just put the water in here for now. Okay, two purple tablets, let's go. Nice. Okay, we got those. Okay, so now... Da, 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 da. Uh, let's quickly double check on what we need here for the jetpack. Five titanium. We don't have room for that. Let's see. Um. Well, we can put one of the crystalline sulfurs in the locker. Um. What else could we put in? One lithium and the two rubies. We don't need them. Okay, that will give us room. Okay, I cannot see. Let's get the flashlight. Don't shine it in your face. This is the first time that I've used the flashlight here. Wow. Okay. Okay, there's our metal salvage. Now we need one more titanium. There we go. Alrighty, I almost ran out of oxygen there. <laughs> okay. Make our titanium. There we go. And there we go. The prawn suit jet upgrade. The jump jet upgrade. All right. Nice. Okay. Let's eat. Because we need to. Okay, let's see. Is the sun rising? I can't tell. No, it's not. Let's sleep before we go back out. Because I think we're ready to meet up with our prawn suit. Okay, now, let's see. I forget how to get there. Uh, is the Neptune landing spot? Uh... Or not Neptune, the Sunbeam land spot. No, it's not on here. Well, shoot. Um. I think, if I'm correct, I think it's behind that uh, mist of cloud. If I, yeah, it should be. So let's. Let's actually take our Seamoth over there. 
I keep forgetting about it for some reason. Welcome aboard Captain. All systems online. And I keep forgetting about the Neptune rocket as well. Perhaps, uh... Perhaps next part, that will be a goal, is to start building the Neptune rocket parts. Okay, yes, it's over here. Or is it? This might just be the rendezvous landing point. Or, yeah, the Aurora rendezvous point. Yeah. So I went the wrong way. Great. I don't know where else it could be. Hang on a second. Okay, it's north and northeast from home. Okay. So I went the opposite direction. I don't think I've actually ever used the jump jet upgrade, so... This will be interesting to try out. Okay, it's behind this misty cloud. Interesting, I didn't realize there was two. Okay. Okay, yeah, it it's here. Now I just need to find the entrance. To the teleporter. Be careful, there might be Reaper Leviathans here. Here we go. All right. And um up we go. into the teleporter. Okay. Now to find our prawn suit. It's this way. Actually, first, let's insert our tablets. Okay, so that takes care of that one. A blue tablet! Ooh! Wow! New blueprint acquired. Okay, we gotta- we gotta read a, a lot of this, uh, data that we got. So Alien Arch, that's the teleport- Oh! To me. Whoa. That was creepy. Okay. So- Alien Arch, that's a teleporter. There's the alien robot. Damage anchor cable. Calculations suggest that such damage will require an external percussive force in excess of 300 tons to damage the anchor cable. Wow. Okay. Terminal data. Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with sea floor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Probably talking about us. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Ah. Fossil data. Um, organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. Huh. And then Kara, that's the name of the virus that we have, the bacterium. Contagion profile. So 
Discovery, first encounter during routine network expansion on Outer Worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Affirmed deaths. 143 billion individuals. Whoa. Attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Whoa. So, yeah, uh, we've been quarantined and uh, bacterial samples distributed to isolate these disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. Well, we're going to find that out. Specimen research data. I don't think we need to read this. Yeah. Aurora survivors. Okay, we have LifePod 2 Chief Technical Officer used voice lock T plus two minutes. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. <laughs> It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay, so that's how Life Pod 2 got sunk, I guess. All right, life pod seven crew log. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. Can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's gotta make something useful eventually. Alrighty. Public documents, Torgal Corp. Okay. Um. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so remember the mesmer that we scanned? Small carnivorous life form with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. The mesmer swims using a number of wings which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages, interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. The mesmer outer shell. The mesmer can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to error 6463 share its beauty. Do not resist. Assessment. Draw closer. <laughs> Well, we haven't uh, been hypnotized by this thing, fate, uh, thankfully. So, here's the Reaper Leviathan, and then it says, Motivational note. Congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Assessment, extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. <laughs> the one that we scanned, it actually wasn't that threatening. It didn't attack us. It just really didn't like being scanned. <laughs> okay, finally, we got everything checked off of there. Oh, 122 that we haven't even checked here. Old plates, an unusual doll. It's the Markiplier doll. <laughs> Okay, whoa! I did not watch my water. My gosh. Okay. So we got that. Alright, let's, uh, let's go down and, uh, get our other purple tablet in. Okay, this is interesting. Alien thermal plant. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Primary containment facility. Integrating new PDA data. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Wow. Okay. So here is the primary containment facility. So we have to be able to upgrade our prawn suit so that I can go at a depth of 1.4 kilometers. Okay. I might as well pick up an ion cube here. All right. Let's finally go up to our prawn suit. That's not where it is. There it is! There's our prawn suit. Now let's see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's uh, quickly have it rest here. If I can have it. There we go. Passing 100 meters. Oh shoot. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. <laughs> Access upgrades. Alright, drill arm and jet upgrade. Cool. See, that's the drill arm. Okay. Now. Um. Now what? Let's see. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that out here again and go back home so that I can see uh, what I need for... Well, actually, is it worth going back home without it? I feel like I should uh, bring the prawn suit with me uh, so that we can drill for some stuff. But I won't get it stuck this time. In fact, I'll risk going in to the teleporter spot. And this is what I was afraid of. It can't even walk now, see? It doesn't even, like, it's not even landed properly. So... There we go. Uh, sure, we'll draw for ion cubes. Uh, we'll get two more. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Nice. Okay. In fact, actually, what I'll do is probably leave the prone suit right here. Um, anything we can grab out of here? Let's get the magnetite and ion cubes just in case. And these. <laughs> okay. And then we'll take our seam off. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. And go back home. Oh! 
See, I told you there's Reaper Leviathans in this area. Better get my perimeter defense system up. Ah, oh, shoot. We need to go back and hurry and eat. Welcome aboard, Captain. Whew! Okay. Let's see. Uh, do we get the... No, let's just mark one. Oh yeah, there's the... Uh, torpedoes. Oh! That's what the gas pods are for! You can put them in, uh, in to make gas torpedoes. Huh. Okay, well, there's something new I learned today. Is this where we can upgrade the... Yeah. Front suit death module mark two. We need three kyanite for that. We only have one. Okay. Oh shoot. Um How do we do this? Um Do that. And then... I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna drop these batteries here. And they're all just gonna be right there waiting for me to pick them up. Along with uh, the copper, wherever it is. Whatever, it's too dark. <laughs> All righty. Well, there's that. Looks like we will need to go back to our prawn suit uh, to get more kyanite uh, for our uh, depth upgrade. But uh, I guess next part we will focus on... where is it? There we go. The Neptune rocket. So... We'll focus on that, and if we have time next time, then we will uh, go back in the prawn suit and get um, some more things of kyanite, huh? along with whatever else we need for um, this upgrade. So, four more titanium and two lithium. Alright, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time for the next part of Let's Play Subnautica, to be continued! Family of Gasopods! All five of them!